Hola, hi, buenos dias, good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, to Girl Daniela. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. It is currently Sunday morning. I'm sitting out here in my backyard drinking a latte. So this is my happy place with all my happy planner goodies around me, all my crafting stuff. This is definitely my happy place. So yeah, I'm just happy to be here. In this video, I wanted to share a bunch of happy planner goodies that I picked up recently so if you're interested in checking out all of the planners and a couple of sticker books that I picked up just keep on watching All right, let's get into this. I am so excited for all of the planners that I picked up. I mean, I absolutely love planners. For me, they're like journals, they're like sketchbooks, and they really help motivate me and organize my life. So I do not mind spending the coin on the planners. I really don't, especially since I did pick up all of these either through the Michaels 50% off planner sale that is going on currently or I used a Joann's 50% off coupon. I get them both on my app and in the mail so I end up having about three 50% off coupons that I can use every time that sale comes around so I did use I did use that coupon or I went through that sale so everything I got here was 50% off which is the only way I buy Happy Planner things. Um, well I do buy occasionally if it's like 40% off or even 30% off but ideally I don't buy Happy Planner unless it's 50% off or 40% off because it is a bit pricey you know like if you do buy full price it you know and you liked having multiple planners and multiple sticker books it does add up. So pro tip for you if you are a budgeting queen a queen on a dime like I am is to just wait for those sales and just commit yourself to not buying anything when it's full price and just wait for the sales so anyway I got a handful of planners here to share with you a couple of sticker books so let's go with the planners first um, so I picked up this one. This is a lined, I mean, these are all classic size because I am a classic size girl. The mini is too mini, the big is too big, the classic is just right. So I picked up this Disney Oasis Adventure lined vertical planner. I think it is gorgeous. I love the cover with this like pastel teal with the dark teal discs, Mickey on the cover. I really, 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 really love the Disney Oasis line. I know a bunch of you also love this Oasis planner line. I mean, I think collectively as a planner community, we um, we have adored this line. I'm shocked that the sticker books went on sale so quickly. I wonder if maybe the line didn't sell as well as people thought it would. I'm not sure because I, I feel like I bought almost everything in that collection. I picked this up to be my Japanese journal for the upcoming year because my current Japanese journal does end in uh, at the end of this year and at the end of December so I will have a planner gap and the line vertical worked so well for me for my Japanese journal that um, that I decided to, to keep on with the lined vertical and I saw that the Disney Oasis line had a lined vertical so I picked this up from Joann's using a 50% off coupon. I really really love the Disney Oasis um, aesthetic. I think it's really cute. So unlike a lot of the other lined verticals that Happy Planner offers, this planner doesn't alternate between colors for or accent colors between the months so it's light green accents in january and it's also light green accents in february and in may and throughout the year so you always will have this light green color palette which is fine like i don't mind um the alternating colors i also don't mind it just being one color but i guess if i were to pick i would probably choose alternating colors because it just gives you something different every month and the monthly has the green accent on the spine it has a couple of cute icons here and there on the days which i think is really cute i also really like the uh, monthly overview page it has a little 
kind of like water color blob here for holidays and special dates it has a grid section for notes it has um, a to-do list for the month and then a section for gratitude and i don't generally tend to use this section how it's designed for my japanese journal so i am going to be trying to figure out how i want to use this particular page I mean, I can use the notes and the I am grateful for section, but I don't really use to-do lists in my Japanese journal. So we'll see how this works out. Um, I might just end up using this decoratively like I tend to do with my Japanese journal. So let's just do a quick flip through of the dividers. Again, they're just really, really adorable. And um, for my Japanese journal, I just like having a fun, a fun planner like i just want to look at it and be happy and be drawn to it because um just it just motivates me to like practice my japanese so i really really like all of the dividers and i'm excited to move into this planner for my japanese journal um in the in the coming year so we have that one so next on my planner stack is this beauty right here she's gorgeous oh my goodness so this planner actually came from the new collection that the happy planner just put out by marabou designs which is a black owned business which is amazing and i'm so happy to be supporting her company and her vision so i actually wasn't too drawn to the sticker books that marabou designs put out but I did look at the planners and I was on the lookout for a nice horizontal planner to take the place of my reading journal that's going to end at the end of the year. I have right now the Welcome to the Book Club reading journal, which I actually have it right here, right here sitting next to me. So I have this one as my reading journal and I use the horizontal layout for this. And this is gonna end at the end of the year, and so I was on the lookout for a horizontal that would take its place. And at first I was thinking of getting one of the Disney princess horizontal layouts, but then I saw this one and I flipped through it and um i thought it was really really beautiful um i like the feeling of the dividers there's something different about how these feel they're kind of a little bit textured almost but the monthly is very very neutral and the pages the weekly spreads themselves are very neutral they have these gray lines separating the days and also a very, very simple notes section at the bottom here. And that's something that was kind of um, getting on my nerves in this, in this uh, book or in this journal. Um, it was super bright and colorful and all of the lines separating the days were a different primary color. And then you also had this like check-in section down here with these three bullet points which I tried to really work with and get some use out of, but I felt like I always kind of had to, um, I don't know, like I just didn't feel, I felt like it was a little bit too structured for me sometimes. So I was really drawn to the simplicity of these spreads, the color palette, and I like that the dividers are really bright and colorful, so it kind of makes up for the fact that everything else is super neutral. And I also really like the grid section here, which is super plain, simple, and functional. You have three sections on the left-hand side, one that says priorities and goals, the other one here says important dates, and we just have a plain grid section up here. So I'm thinking of using this to be like a place to put the pictures of all the books that I'm reading that month or something like that. And yeah, I was really drawn to this uh, to this planner for my reading journal. And actually, um, when I first saw the collection come out, there's a planner, classic sized, I think that's a line vertical or vertical, um, that has this divider as the cover of the planner. And I really, really wanted that planner to be the horizontal because it has a book on the cover. And I thought that would really like, you know, it would just fit with the reading journal theme but unfortunately that planner is not a horizontal and i really really wanted the horizontal layout but i'm really happy that they included that image as one of the dividers in this planner so yeah i'm excited about that so i think this 
planner is really really gorgeous i mean it's so bright and colorful on the dividers it gives me such a cozy homey like springtime feel and um i'm excited to work in this and yeah i i'm really happy i picked this up i love the bright coral discs i think they go really well with the dividers and i'm just so happy to have picked this this planner up so that's gonna take the place of my reading journal and then the third planner I picked up um, out of the six I picked up was this beauty right here. I picked this one up at Michael's. It was 50% off. And this is a wellness planner and it's the Your Soul is Golden wellness planner. It has these gorgeous pastel yellow discs, which I am a huge fan of. And the whole color palette in this planner is very pastel, which I love. We have the yearly calendar and then the yearly perpetual calendar, again in these beautiful pastel colors. And then for the monthly overviews, we just have a line section on the left-hand side. A grid section over here at the top that says write an encouraging note to yourself some a blank section for some important dates and then three sections to journal about how I'm strengthening my mind how I'm strengthening my body and what I'm loving about myself we have the July divider and then the July monthly calendar view is pretty simple it continues to follow that past that soft pastel theme and other than the color at the top it's relatively neutral and then we get into the the actual weekly spreads and like all wellness planners it's kind of separated into these four horizontal sections that kind of mirror the fitness layout if you're familiar with that one but at the top you have an intention section this section is a nourish section this section here is a movement section and this section here is a take note section and each of the days has a different prompt here which i think is wonderful for helping you structure and journal and reflect we have some nice pastel splotches on the spine and then on the sidebar we have two boxes that say i'm feeling and then because and then lastly just a note section here and i'm really excited to be working in this um in this planner so right now i do have a wellness planner that is in the fitness style journal um, so it has like the fitness prompts here as opposed to these wellness prompts but i'm hoping to transition that fitness i mean that wellness planner into my fitness planner at the end of the year when my current fitness planner finishes and so my i'm not going to have a wellness planner anymore and so i'm deci i decided to pick this one up so that this can be my wellness planner when the other one um when my fitness finishes and i transition my wellness to my fitness planner if that makes any sense but basically it's going to fill a hole in my planner system at the end of the year and also i've decided to um to kind of lump in another planner that I have. I have a skinny mini planner that's gonna end at the end of the year. It's my wildflower skinny mini planner and I write affirmations in it every day. And I decided not to continue with that little planner because I felt like I could incorporate that into my wellness planner. And anyway, that skinny mini was just kind of an experiment. Um, I got it originally for another purpose, didn't end up liking that format. And so I was just playing around with it. Um, um, since then but I've decided not to continue with that one and just kind of merge it into my wellness planner and I think it'd be great to write affirmations here maybe in the intention section so um, I'm excited to work in this wellness journal um, starting next year and uh, and this planner also alternates colors so um, in july we have like a peach and then in august we have the sky blue and then in september we have this pastel purple and it alternates between those three colors throughout the year and all of the dividers have this kind of pastel color scheme and these really nice positive quotes on a couple of them so this one's like just a design here we have a nice positive quote reminders um 
just a, a, a positive quote there more positive quotes I really like the positive quotes um, but I do also like the designs that are a little bit more simple here so uh, yes this is gonna be really really fun to work in I'm excited to work in this planner and um, I'm looking forward to beginning this planner one thing I feel bad about whenever I get a new planner is not being able to use the first six months that come with the planner. So July through December, I'm not going to be using these pages because I already have a, a wellness planner right now. And I am going to start using this one in January when I don't have a wellness planner anymore. But these pages I'm not going to be using. So I always feel kind of bad not using these. Um, but there's no way that I'm going to be able to use these pages. I already have a lot of planners and I barely have time to get to uh, journal in all of them. So there's no way I can add another planner section to my lineup right now. I'll probably hang on to these months and see if I can reuse these at some point and redate them, um, you know, at a later time point, and maybe I can get some use out of them at some point. But there is that one. And then my fourth plan that I'm sharing with you is this beauty. This is the Painterly Pastels Classic in the color block format and i am really really excited about this one i love these painterly pa the painterly pastels aesthetic i picked up the accessory pack for the painterly pastels a while ago and i just love these designs i wish that they came out with an entire sticker book of this aesthetic i really do i think that would be wonderful so this one i got because i'm going to finish my community service and nonprofit uh planner at the end of the year and i needed a picture up a planner to replace that planner when it finishes and so I use a classic vertical a simple vertical for that planner right now and this one is a color block so it's gonna be a little bit of a shift in format and I'm interested to see exactly how that works out for me and for the color block vertical here it alternates between a light purple and then a green and a pink as as well so it's gonna be interesting to be working with that color throughout the week uh, we'll see how it goes if I end up absolutely hating it I'll probably um, shift to a regular vertical but I'm gonna really try to give this color block vertical a shot because I do really like the color block vertical um, I've been using one recently for my YouTube channel and I really like how how that has been going for me so I kind of wanted to uh, play around with it a little bit more for another one of my planner sections and um, I also really do like the monthly overview it has a really big section for notes that's a grid section and then just two small boxes for notes and then important notes and dates and i absolutely hate the monthly overview that i'm currently using for my nonprofit planner here i'll actually show that to you right now let's pull out my planner Oof. All right, let's see. I absolutely hate this uh, section. Um, let me show you. This one right here. This one, I hate this monthly overview so much because I hate the big black box at the top and how it's kind of like awkwardly structured into like these three sections here. I feel like they wasted so much space up here and it, I don't know, it doesn't, I don't like it. I don't like the look of it. And I feel like so many planners have this monthly overview on it and I've just have been trying to avoid it. And so I love this monthly overview. I think it's nice and light. I think if you wanna work with this green kind of watercolor splotch at the top, it's a lot easier to work with. And it just feels lighter and I like a lighter look on my monthly overviews. And then the monthly calendar is also pretty neutral. It has some color splotches at the top, but nothing too intense. But the weekly spreads are very, very colorful. So you really have to work with the color um, during the week, which I am totally fine with. And then here is the September. This is what the pink uh, spreads look like. Then there's October. This one is yellow. Yeah, it's yellow. 
So we have yellow, pink, green, and blue. Okay, there's four different colors that you can, that you have with this one. And then we go back to the purple. Yeah, there's four different. There's purple, green, pink, and yellow. And I also really love these dividers. I think they're really soft and airy and they just make me happy. I really, really love the painterly pastels aesthetic and these, um, these designs here. Love it. Yes. So we'll just flip through the rest of the dividers here and that's it. And I am so excited to get into this. I love the cover. I love the pastel rainbow um, plastic rings here that match the stripes on the cover. Love it. And then the last planner that I got, well, actually, it's not the last planner I got. It's just the last planner I have here. I also ordered a vertical um, planner from Michaels that hasn't arrived yet. And that one is actually going to be for my gardening section. And it's the Sweet Succulents Classic Vertical. But that one's not here. But the last planner I have here with me right now is this one. This is a Disney Princess planner. It's the first Disney Princess planner I have picked up. And this is the dashboard layout. And I got this one to be my household planner for the coming year because my current um, dashboard that I use for my household stuff, which is the Desert Dreams classic um, planner with the cactus on the front. That one's gorgeous. That one's finishing at the end of the year. And so I really needed to pick up a household planner because that is one of my most important planners and helps me organize my life so much. So I know I, I knew I wanted a dashboard. There was no, I had no desire to change the layout for that one. The dashboard works so well for household stuff. And for the monthly overview, I really like that it's very simple and that it just has a section for notes and a section for important dates um, because I don't really use the monthly overview a lot for my household section. And we have already like a cute design here. And then we have the monthly calendar. So it's undated, so I'll have to date everything every month, which is a little bit annoying, but you know, I can work with it. And um it's fine it has like a cute little pattern on the spine and then the cute little like icon up there at the top and then the weekly spreads all have their own uh color palettes each month has a color palette so here we have um we have the the blue box up here in the errands which some people don't like the color that the planners come with i personally don't mind it you i feel like i have to work with it yes but it's not too big of a deal for me we have the pink boxes in the to buy section. We have the, again, the a blue kind of box up here on top of the like the weekly layout section. And then this week's focus with that burgundy color. Um, so yeah, we have a good amount of color and decoration on these pages. I don't mind that at all. So uh, there's Snow White and then here is Tiana. So her color is green so the spine on the calendar view is green and then the boxes are green as well and then the week's focus text box is also green the two buy boxes are still pink though we have her icon up here and a little firefly down there so that's tiana and then we have cinderella I really love this divider here. So Cinderella's colors are pink. So she has her pink box up there. And then so on back to Snow White. Snow White is again a blue. And then I think only three princesses are represented in this planner. So it's um, Tiana, Snow White, and Cinderella. So there we go. I'm excited to use this. I do like the Disney princesses. I normally am not someone that like gravitates towards the Disney princesses, but I'm kind of warming up to them. And I felt like having uh, the Disney princess planner be my household planner would kind of fit because, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm the queen of my castle and I like seeing my fellow princesses and royalty in my planner for this section. There's nothing like feeling like a princess when you have to scrub a toilet. So 
there we go the magic begins within dashboard a disney princess planner i think i'm gonna pick up um one of the disney princess sticker books to go with that planner and then that is all i picked up in terms of planners besides that one planner that hasn't arrived yet and i did end up picking up three sticker books that i just quickly want to share before i wrap up this video so the first is a recollection sticker book that i got at michael's and if you're interested in picking up recollections sticker books um, from their halloween collection definitely go check out your michael's asap because these do not stick around very long they show up really really early and then they just fly off the shelves i remember last year because I'm such a Michaels and like crafting fan, I do go to Michaels and Joann's pretty regularly so I can see when, I definitely see like collections pop up. And I went recently over the weekend and I saw that they had all the Halloween crafting stuff out and so I took a look and um, I really, really like the recollection sticker books. I picked up two last year, they were some of my favorite and i love this sticker book here it's the pastel halloween sticker book so it's all like cutesy halloween um it has kind of like a pretty aesthetic to it it's not like typical halloween stickers they're just really really lovely and cute i particularly like um the pumpkins in this book I was obsessed with these pumpkins last year. They had a sticker book full of these pumpkins. I think they only have one page of those pumpkins now in this one, which I'm kind of sad about, but it is what it is. But if you're interested in picking up these sticker books, definitely go check out your local Michaels because these are flying off the shelves. This was the last one in the store. They had a couple left of the other sticker book, which is a little bit more traditional Halloween stickers, like ghosts and skeletons and that kind of like black, white, and orange color theme. But this one, which is the pastel one, um, was the last one. And so I picked it up. I'm so happy that I managed to get one of these because these are just so much fun and I can't wait to start decorating for Halloween. And then I got two Happy Planner sticker books. I got an older sticker book. This is Fun Florals, and it's just a bunch of floral stickers. A lot of people have this sticker book. I've never had this sticker book, and um, I started to realize that I was missing having a book full of florals. I used to have the regular floral sticker book. Uh, from the happy planner which might have been their first like full floral sticker book and i finished that one a long time ago i flew through it and i decided that like i really 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 wanted just a book full of floral stickers and so i went to go pick this one up i used a 50 percent off coupon at joann's so that one was a deal and then i also used a 50 percent off coupon to get this one this is a newer sticker book and this is um yeah they're one of their newer fitness sticker books and I have been slowly working through all of my fitness stickers and it was about time that I picked up a new sticker book for fitness because I definitely feel like I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel when it comes to my fitness stickers. And I really, really was attracted to this sticker book. I love the color palette. I love the designs of all the stickers. And honestly, I have been really, really dragging my feet when it comes to my fitness. And I just wanted something to motivate me to um, get back on the fitness hustle. So hopefully this will motivate me. We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. But I'm really, really excited for the sticker book. We have a bunch of boxes, which I love. They have meal plan stickers, um, habit trackers, and a bunch of just like motivational quotes and um, just full box uh, decorative stickers. So I'm excited to use this one. And that's all I got, everyone. So thank you so much for stopping by, checking out this haul. Let me know if you have any of the planners or sticker books I just shared with you and your thoughts on it, what you use them for. I would love to know. So I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.